you doing, Buzz? I'm good. Yes. I, I, I want to thank you for doing Wheel of Freestyle. You go above and beyond when you come on our show. You don't just talk to us. You, you, you work. You're like, yeah, I'll do that extra thing. I'm like, thank <laughs> you for always saying yes and doing all this stuff. And I, I, every every <clears throat> time I'm on stage with these guys, it's like a dream come true. It's like totally my dream uh, to be here. Are you kidding me? Last time, last time you came on the show, we did a giant opening number, uh, Broadway's Back. Yes. And uh, we brought uh, we brought everyone back, but then actually Broadway came back. Yeah. Uh, congrats, Hamilton reopened in September. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we actually tonight is our two thousandth performance on Broadway. So thank you to wow. two thousand performance today. That's unbelievable. Yeah. And, and Freestyle Love Supreme was back in October. Yeah. And so it's it's out. It's, it's out. Yeah, oh. we're playing. We're playing right now, and, I mean, and it's I, been amazing. Uh, by the way, congrats on the Emmy. I didn't even get a chance to say <laughs> uh, you won an Emmy for Hamilton. Yeah. Yeah. Another. I didn't know that was a thing. No. Uh, but I, I gotta say, I respect you for just keeping your head on because you have 30 projects out now that are all quality stuff, amazing stuff. Tonight, you're going to the premiere of uh, the new Disney movie, Encanto. Yep. Which is in theaters November 24th. You did uh, all the music for that. Uh, and, and I will say, was it over the summer I saw somewhere, by the way? Moana soundtrack became the number one soundtrack of all time. Yes, thank you for... <laughs> I really, I, I think that's because there's nothing scary in Moana, so it's just, like, I, I, for every parent, it's like, here, I have emails to return, like, watch Moana. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, it's just comfort. No, I'll be, I'll be right back. No, it's so good. Yeah, no, I'm really proud of it. And, um, and Did it you ever think that you'd write a, a smash hit song uh, for The Rock, for Dwayne Johnson? <laughs> no. Um, what was amazing about that, I know you have Roman Reigns on later tonight. I got to meet him backstage. But I figured out how he could sing because of his... Um, wrestling videos. He was a bad guy for a while in the WWE, and he would pull out a ukulele, and he would go like, can't wait to get out of whatever town he was in. They would boo him. And so I watched a supercut of him taunting people with a ukulele to find out his vocal range. Wow! Yeah. And that's how you did uh, your welcome? Yeah. Unbelievable. Uh, you, you made your uh, directorial debut uh, with Tick, Tick, Boom. Congratulations. Thank bud. you very much. I remember talking about this. I mean, this is years in the making. Uh, years in the making. Uh, uh, I, I, I looked at your IMDb page because I just, uh, that's what I do to research you. <laughs> yeah. uh, Thank you. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> yeah, like I don't know you enough. Uh, but I, I saw this is not uh, your first uh, director credit, weirdly enough. I know. Uh, yeah. So There's... in the early days of IMDb, you didn't <laughs> need to prove you'd made a movie. And <laughs> my friend Adam Rauscher and I made a 40 minute movie over the course of three sleepovers. <laughs> In 10th grade, yeah. called Clayton's Friends. Yeah. Uh, it literally was a sleepover movie with, like, my friends. Can we zoom in? Because I love Clayton's Friends. Clayton's Friends. Yeah. I can't get it off IMDb. You can't, you can't get it. I was 16 years old. <laughs> no, forever, the rest <laughs> of your life. Clayton's it Friends. It exists in two, VHS <laughs> full, two VHSs in the world. I love and, that it's on yeah. there. It's so good. Yeah. Uh, well, Tick, Tick, Boom. <laughs> it's in theaters now. It's, it's in theaters now. The amazing Tariq Trotter is in Tick, Tick, Boom. Yeah, she, um, dude, you're great. It, that, you were fantastic, by the way. Thank uh, you. Uh, it, it, Jonathan Larson, it, it's a story of, it's, it's about Jonathan Larson. Uh, can yeah. you uh, tell everyone who, who he was? Yeah, Jonathan Larson is uh, he's most known to the world as the composer of Rent, um, which knocked me flat when I saw it for my 17th birthday. I was... Um, in the back row of the Nederlander Theater, and it was the most contemporary musical I'd ever heard. It was the most diverse cast I'd ever seen on Broadway. It gave me hope that I could maybe be in a Broadway show because it looked like the New York I actually live in, and it was about artists sort of struggling to survive, and I knew I wanted that life for myself. And, um, you know, so I became a theater major. I started writing musicals because I saw Rent, and, you know, when I was a senior in college, now I'm a senior, it's a, I'm a theater major, I did it, I followed Jonathan Larson's advice, yeah. and I saw the off-Broadway version of Tick, Tick, Boom, which was directed by Scott Schwartz and uh, turned into an off-Broadway musical by um, David Auburn, who rewrote Jonathan Larson's, an early work of Jonathan's, and it was autobiographical. He yeah. wrote this show about turning 30 and no one producing his work yet. Um, and it was like a sneak preview of my 20s. It was like... A personal message that was like, hey, Lynn, all those talented friends of yours are going to get real jobs. Yeah. And they're going to grow up. 
and you're gonna be the only one banging your head against the wall of your childhood dream. And like, do you still wanna do this? And the world may never notice anything you write. Are you okay with that? Are you okay with that? And it was clarifying for me. Like it was just, I, I remember I had like a stomach ache. I staggered out of the theater. Um, and and it was, it, it made me realize like, it made me fully commit to you know what you're doing to what I'm doing. Yeah, uh, well, I, I hope it. I hope it. Oh, you're gonna show people. Uh, well, no, I will show a clip. I want to show a clip from the movie, but I want to talk more about it. More with Lin Manuel Miranda when we come back. <laughs>